In the last lesson, we were introduced to the Photoshop site plan course, and we were introduced to what files we need in order to do this. One of the required files is a model of our site. So let's find out how to make one of these in just two minutes using SketchUp and Rhino. If you'd like to watch all the other 40 plus lessons available, as well as gain access to all the course files and 50 bonus textures and PNG trees you can use for your own site plans, Check out the full Photoshop site course on my website. The link is down in the description below. So first things first, we want to open up SketchUp. You want to start off by going to File Geolocation and then go Add Location. And you want to just try and pick out the spot that you want to get the terrain for and get a contour model of. I'm just going to go here somewhere in Nepal. I'm going to select the region. I'm just going to import it. Now we've just imported our map of the site. And all we have to do is go to File, Geolocation, Show Terrain. And now as you can see, that's pretty gnarly, but um, depends what site you've got, it might not be this big. From here, we can now import this into Rhino. It's gonna save this. Um, we can just go save this as a SketchUp 8 um, version, version 8 of SketchUp. And we're just gonna go Site for Rhino. I'm gonna save that. Now moving back into Rhino, we can open up a new file and we can File Import. And we're just going to go find where we saved that. So all of these should should be fine as default. However, you make sure you've got it on as a mesh and you want the edges and faces, everything as well. So we're just going to click OK and it's just going to place that model into our Rhino file. From here, what we can do is enter our top view and we're just going to scroll out and go find it. What we can do now is just create a drape over this. So with it unselected, we can just type in drape and we're just going to create a square as it says drag a window over area to drape and just put that over there going back to our perspective view you can see that's created a surface of the model and we can go ahead and delete the group that's underneath it and we've now got a NURB surface for that model and if we go into a shaded view you can see that it's just molded out that site completely. And whereas it's not perfect, um, this is actually really good considering that the other way you have to do it is by getting a contour map, uh, making sure it's the right scale and everything, and then uh, scaling them up and doing uh, spending a whole lot of time just drawing every single line on the contour map. So um, considering that this just took less than five minutes, it's definitely a cool feature and it's worth knowing for your architecture projects. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to extract contours from this site model so that we can add them to our site plan. So I'll see you there.